Russian satellite has all carbon gazing skyward. Soviet Russia has all of Kermanity staring heavenward, with their epic scientific achievement beating the Kerbal Space Administration in the race to launch the first Kerbal-made moon. For the miracle simulated here may have more profound scientific, military, and political implications than the mortal Kerbals are ordinarily called on the grasp at once. The knowledge gathered by the speeding orb may affect Kerbal kind as nothing before, may mark a moment in history unparalleled, may cause changes to bigger imagination. What the Kerbal forefathers faced in the first plane flight could be as nothing now with what they are faced with these crushing signals from space. They tell us that Kerbin may never be the same again. As Krusha is enjoying the triumph, the country's officials refuse to explain why it did not tell the other nations it planned to launch the satellite, despite the KSA proudly publicizing its program. However, all of Kerman hails the accomplishment. A new moon! Let's hope for the space age, not Armageddon. Hello everyone, this is Shimmy, and today I'm going to be playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is going to be the beginning of a series that I'm going to call the Sandbox Space Campaign. And what I'll be doing in this one is uh, be running a space program uh, with worrying about a budget and trying to uh, go as far as I can worrying about that budget. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need to use the Mission Controller Extended mod. Uh, you can find that on the Kerbal Spaceport and the Kerbal Space Program forums. It's pretty cool. And what I've done, I've made my own mission pack, uh, which in total will have over 200 missions. I'm not completely done with it yet, but um, it has gotten to the point in which I feel that it is playable. So let's go ahead and get started. Sandbox Space Cam Pogni. I hope I spelled that right. Choose my flag. There it is. Let's get started. Let me just wait for this to load here. The computer is not the fastest, and this newest update to Kerbal Space Program does take a little while to load. But, let's just go ahead and get started. We need to choose our first mission. In most of these, oh, I need to enable the plugin first. Let's go ahead and configure this. Enable. I'm going to be playing on hardcore mode. So that means uh, in any, in any uh, mission pack that comes with this, I'm going to get 40% less uh, payout uh, per mission. And so how that works is usually they give you a mission to uh, achieve, you know, get into orbit around a planet or land or return or something like that, and then they pay you for that. And I've done pretty much the same thing with mine. Um, I've based mine off of the, uh, off of a standard Delta V map of the entire, you know, uh, Kerbal system. Uh, so I'll be using that in order to figure out how much I'll be paid. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll explain more of that later. So I'll go ahead and select my mission package. This Kerbal Space Program, or the the Sandbox Space Campaign, uh, Kerbin Missions. And our first mission, as simple as it is, is to get a probe into orbit. So let's just go ahead and select that. Let's get started. So let's go into our vertical assembly building here. More loading, of course. And um, I, have, I have several different mods installed, but I'm going to start off really simple here. I'll get into more mods later, um, but I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I want to get a, a probe into orbit, right? So let's just go ahead and get this probe body. And uh, so that's pretty much the most basic probe body here. Um, you know, some this others, but I prefer this one to the attachment point. Now, one other thing I want to mention 
is I am using remote tech for this also, which that means that uh, I cannot directly control uh, these probes per se. I have to relay the signal off of different satellites. Um, I'm using a an older version of remote tech, not not the newer one that hasn't been completed yet, but I feel that it's playable enough that this should be really really fun. So. Uh, what that's going to require is going to require antenna in order to communicate with it. So I'm just going to be simple and add a couple antenna here. And then we're going to need batteries so it doesn't run out of power when it's not, when it doesn't have sunlight. And I'm going to add solar panels. And I'm going to add some propulsion. And before I do anything else, make things easier, um, I'm going to get the flight engineer here. It's going to help me figure out what is my total capable delta V of this uh, of this vessel. So now let's go ahead and get started designing the rocket part of the entire thing. So as simple as possible, let me go ahead and get some of these pro body parts here. I want about, about 2,000, 3,000 meters per second of delta V here, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a few different parts here and see what I got. So that's 1,800. I could use a bit more. There we go. And so this is just the, this. I'm working on the second stage right now. 2400 meters per second. That's perfect with a good thrust to weight ratio. And I think I'll be able to use that as a second stage. So I'll go ahead and start working on my first stage now. Let's go ahead and pick some different parts here. Maybe that, and maybe that. Total delta V, uh, almost 5,000, which is perfect. It's perfect enough to get into orbit, uh, get this into orbit at least. So let's go ahead and add the launch stability, wherever the heck that is. There it is. Help us not topple over before we launch. Get that close to the ground there. This doesn't look like a rocket, really, but I'm not going to worry about all the different fairings and stuff like that until later. I just want to keep this as simple as possible. For now. So, what is Mission Controller telling us? Well, it's telling us that the cost of the fuel is 1,400 krones. Krones is the currency in uh, this mod, and the parts is 7,600 krones. Total cost of over 9,000. It's over 9,000! Um, now, as it is, I'm going to receive a reward of 31,000. That's assuming I achieve the mission goal of getting into orbit with a minim minimum periapsis of 70 kilometers. With an eccentricity, meaning that's going to stay in the Kerbin system. So, this is going to be fairly easy. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Name this something so simple. Uh, probe Alpha. Alrighty. I think we got that. Let's go ahead and get this started. Let's go to launch pad here. Okay, you can see up here is the remote tech stuff. I'm really not going to um, mention what's going on here unless it's absolutely necessary. All I just need to know is I need to make sure I stay in contact. As soon as I leave contact with the with the uh, mission control, because mission control is this place with where it relays the signal from the satellite dishes, I assume. Um, as soon as I lose a contact, I can't control the probe anymore. So just got to keep that in mind. So I'll just go ahead and close this for now these resources up here, get my orbital and vessel information up with the Kerbal Engineer, go ahead and set my throttle to full, SAS on, 
and I believe we are good to go. So here we go. Three, two, one, and launch. We got it pretty fast, but now I'm going to go ahead and drop my thrust to weight ratio. Drop my throttle down a little bit so I'm not going too fast. I don't want to waste too much fuel trying to break through this atmosphere because uh, Kerbin's atmosphere is kind of like flying through jello or something um, until they have a, a more realistic flight model, I guess. So, alrighty, so here we go. Currently at 90 meters a second, going up pretty quickly here. Everything seems to be nominal. These launches can take a while. Now, I imagine later in the series I'm probably going to cut a lot of this stuff out unless it's really interesting. Uh, because the launches are pretty much... You just go up and get an orbit. So, yep. Simple as that. So it's here. You see here we're at 170. 7,000 meters. 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and start my gravity turn. And 10,000. Now, alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and start pitching it over here slowly. And what I'm doing here, when I'm doing this, I'm also trying to pay attention to my, my apoapsis height here. It tells me how high currently it's going to, I'm going to go if my engine just all of a sudden cuts out, so I want to make sure that's pretty high in, until I start rolling over completely over within a 90 degrees. Alrighty, first stage is done. Second stage, activated. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hold it at 45 here for a few seconds. Our apoapsis is starting to get pretty high here. As you can see it here. Alright, I'm going to start pitching over a little bit more. We've left the, the most dense part of the atmosphere a few minutes ago. Signal seems to be okay. We're in direct line of sight. Apoapsis is over 70. I'm going to stop when that hits about 85. And there we go. Alrighty. We're significantly out of the atmosphere, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my solar panels now. Kerbal engineer here is telling me that I have 714 meters a second of uh, delta V left, calculating by the amount of fuel I have, so I'm going to plan my maneuver here, make sure that I am good to go. Alright, just go ahead and do that. 85 by 92, we can get that more circular. 87, that's good enough. Alrighty, an estimated burn time of 13 seconds. Got the space music now. Alrighty, I believe I'm lined up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and warp forward until my burn node. It's going to be really close, actually, before I lose contact. Start burning now. Just trying to 
pay attention to this, these numbers here. And... Wow! Alrighty, that's almost circular. So here we got... And I believe we're going to go out of contact in just a few seconds. Yes, out of contact. Woof! That was a close one. So, just barely in orbit, but I got it. So let's go ahead and open up Mission Controller. It says that I've achieved my goal of achieving a, an orbit around Kerbin. I am going to go ahead and receive my payout here by finishing this mission. And there I go. Alrighty. So I can go ahead and uh, close that window again. And I can go ahead and uh, cancel that. And there we go. It's my first satellite around Kerbin. Uh, if you're curious about these clouds, uh, this is a little uh, mod called uh, Universe Replacer. I don't remember exactly which uh, uh, pack I used to get the clouds, but it's pretty cool. You should check it out. Universe Replacer, if you want to change the way that your planet looks and all that. So, there we go. So, we've achieved our first mission goal of achieving orbit around Kerbin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it uh, good for here. Once again, my name was Shimmy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.